I'm so sorry, Michael. Uh, I just can't believe Martin would do such a thing like that, and I'm truly sorry I believed him and I blamed you instead. Thank you. It's all right. But next time, be careful when choosing who to believe. And don't act as if you don't know how much I truly love Daphne. I've asked the sergeant to allow me. I want to talk to the family so I can be the first to tell them it's better this way. But I can't bring myself to do it. I've been avoiding Alma since I got home today. I just can't look her in the eyes. How does one say such a thing? I'll stand in front of her and say what exactly? I can tell them if you want. They really need to find out as soon as possible or they might hear about it on television. No, thanks a lot, Mr. Mason. It's hard, but I need to do it myself. I'll do it. And what about Erin? I don't understand her either. I just... I don't get why she did it. What did she want from us? What did we do to her? I cared about her. She was like part of the family. She was my best friend. I still don't get it. And Martin, too. We weren't as close as I was with Aaron, but... He wasn't just another employee from the company. These were people I cared about and trusted completely. You can't trust anyone anymore. I guess I don't really know the people closest to me. Layla, I know it's not the time for this, but uh, I need to ask you something. Well, it's about Miss Daphne's sister. You mean about Sally? Yes. Tell me, is Miss Sally still in Istanbul? She's here as far as I know. Why do you ask? I need to speak to her. Do you have her telephone number or a way to contact her? I don't have her number, but she's staying with my brother. We can call her if you like. She's staying with your brother? Mr. Mason, what's going on here? Is there something you're not telling me? No, no, I... Uh, I just need to ask her a few things regarding Martin, that's all. She may know something I don't. Let me call right away. No need, please don't call them. I'll go over there right now, like a surprise. I'd like to talk to Mr. Michael as well. Okay. I'll walk you out. Come. Excuse me, Mr. Michael. You have a visitor at the door. Who's here so late? Uh... It's me. <sighs> okay, you can leave. Oh, hang on a second, miss. Let me give you my coat. Thank you so much. I really need to speak with you. All right, I'm listening. Okay, so which one of you is the big boss in all this? Or maybe you're in on it together. Wait, what did you just say? It's just a joke. Don't get so scared, man. It isn't funny. What could I possibly have to do with those horrible people? I wasn't even aware that Kareem had been abducted. Never mind, Sally. Don't worry about it. He doesn't know his place and spouts this nonsense all the time. Yes, he's right. I'm not all there, at times, I guess. But it became worse after I met you guys. Mr. Michael, tell me something. Are you rich people all like this? How's that? Oh, I don't know. Just so complicated. Everyone pretends to know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mason, you're clearly looking to have some fun here, but unfortunately, I don't have time for you. Can you please just get out of my house now? I don't actually love being here either, but I can't leave without getting answers to my questions. That's fine. Please go ahead and ask whatever you need to ask. Okay, I'll start with you. Where did you come from? What's your purpose? <laughs> Do I really need to have a purpose to come visit? I heard my sister had been killed and came right over right away. Okay. What about your meeting with Martin? You both spoke to Martin at the hospital. What about? I went to speak to Martin to ask about my sister Daphne. You weren't present at Daphne's funeral, and then you decide to go talk to Martin about your sister instead, huh? 
The reason I wasn't present at Daphne's funeral was because I didn't know she was dead. I still wouldn't have known if Martin hadn't called to let me know. Martin was the one who told you that Daphne died? He did. He kind of implied he had some suspicions concerning Daphne's death. We were going to talk when I got here, but we never got a chance. I went to visit him when he came out of the coma to see exactly what he was talking about. What exactly did he say? He was just talking nonsense, that's all. I didn't ask you. I asked her. <sighs> okay, you know how Daphne's killer got away. He claims that Michael helped the killer escape from the hands of the authorities. That's nonsense. Oh my god. Of course it's such nonsense. Why would Martin have told you this lie about your sister's killer and what would he want? Well, isn't it obvious? He was involved in Kareem's kidnapping from the start. He must have been in on it. He's clearly holding a grudge. Mm. Isn't that clear enough? It is. And I believed him like such an idiot. But I realized he was lying when I heard the truth from Michael. Of course it's a lie. Why don't you talk to the man instead of wasting time here with us? I'll do it when the time is right. It's a good thing I spoke to you two first. I learned you're not in contact with him at all. What are you talking about? Don't pretend you don't know exactly what I'm talking about. I can't look into that case because I don't have the time for it. You can be sure I'm going to speak to Kareem the first chance I get, though. Excuse me, miss, where's my coat? I really don't know what to say. Alma, I'm so sorry about this. Hey, Mom. Mom. Alma, are you okay, dear? Mom, are you okay? Alma. Are you okay? Something to drink. Lie down, lie down. Alma, drink a little water. Here you go. Okay, it's okay. Mom, chill, just lie down, okay? Shh, it's okay. Chill out, Mom. Calm down. It's going to be okay. It's okay. 